Hi guys, Matt DeGrenner here from Beyond Grappling. Today I'm about to show you a technique from my new website, University of Judo. University of Judo is a great website I've been working on and it's going to be released in February. So if you like the video, why not click the like button, share it with your Facebook friends, and if you like it, why not comment below and let me know what you think. Game plan is vital when you're doing judo. You must have a game plan. You must understand that you need a forward throw and a backwards throw, and you need sideways throws as well. And as you get better and better at judo, you start implementing a game plan, you start putting throws and positions and movements and setups together, and that creates your style of judo. So one style of judo that I quite like is the sumigage style. Uh, I learned a lot of this stuff from a French guy uh, who was fantastic, and he had every aspect of judo covered. So what he liked to do is sumigage. Now how did he get his sumigage? What he did was, he got a cross grip here on the opposite lapel, two hands, and he would pull down and step backwards and come over the top and grab this belt here. And it instantly broke his opponent's posture and got him in a really good position. So again, all right, he fed the gi, two hands, because you can't pull your partner down with one hand. It's not, you're not strong enough. But if you move and pull at the same time, you're a lot stronger. And from here, he had a really nice position. Now from here, what he liked to do was a sumigash. So the first thing he did was work on Uchimata. So he took a back step with this leg. Because he needs a reaction that way to do a sumi. So he takes a back step. We'll start working Uchimata. And as his opponent pushed back, you work a sumigash. So it's a very nice setup, easy to get. One more time. I'm here, I'm fighting, double lapel. Pull down, work with your mother, he steps back. Sumi Gash. Second option, your opponent knows the Sumi Gash is coming. So, when you're here, he doesn't come this direction, he starts walking that way. And you, and you go for Sumi Gash, you're going to miss it. So, a great setup you can do is a Kawuchi. You pull down, as he goes that way, catch it. There's your Sumi Gash. So you're going to make him go that way and come back. You're going to come back the direction that you need. If you think he's going to come behind you, and as he comes, go behind him, you. Take him down with an Oluchigari. You're going to have every base covered. If your opponent goes this way, Sumigash. If he goes that way, Kouchi. If he tries to counter you, Oluchi. So one more time with the Oluchi. I pull down. As he comes behind me, look. Oh, what you go. So it's a very nice setup. The next one we have is an uchimata. Now a lot of people feel that when you pull your, a lot of people feel that you can't do an uchimata from this position because you don't have the sleeve to rotate it. But you actually can. You need to rotate your opponent with his leg, not with the sleeve. So what I do is I take a back step, hook the leg, put this hand over here, and run behind it to finish. One more time, so, the Uchimata, I'm, I'm fighting. Two hands, pull down. I really want the Sumi Gash, but if he starts reacting any direction I have it covered, remember that, but I want the Uchimata. So I quickly take a back step, lift the leg, put this hand down and rotate around for the Uchimata. So if you're looking for a game plan, this is the sort of thing you need to have. You need to have a throw going forwards. If he reacts backwards, you're going to need to have a throw going backwards. You need to have a throw going sideways. And this sort of game plan is a really nice one you can implement in your club to get you to the next level. It's got every single base covered. So one more time, two hands on, pulling down, moving your body back. Here, I've got my Kowalchi leg grab. I've got my sumi gash if he goes this way. If he's, if he's going that way but he's quite good on the feet, I might do a luchimata. Sumi gash. If he comes behind me, a luchi. And if he's static, not doing much, luchimata. So in my life, so in my judo, I have all bases covered. I like doing an ipon sinagi. I like doing a force technique. But if my opponent sits back on it, I like doing a Koichi Makakomi. I also like doing a Haragoshi. But if he sits back on it, I like a switch. I also like doing 
uh, Diashi Barai. So when we're moving, I like doing a Diashi Barai. But if he moves that leg, if he moves that leg, Osotagari. So you're gonna get all bases covered in your judo. And that's what University of Judo will give you. It gives you strategies, techniques, setups and structure that will add to your judo and your game and help you get to the next level, whether it's coaching, whether it's you as a competitive player, whether you just want to develop your, your game plan and your knowledge of judo, University of Judo will give you everything needed to get you to your, your goals. Thanks heaps for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, why not click the like button, share it with your Facebook friends, or you can leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Now make sure you keep an eye on your email over the coming days because I'm going to send you an email with a link to a new video that I just know you're going to love. Thanks a lot. Talk soon.